Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Welcome to the Esatino Artist channel where we talk about money, marketing, and mindset. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create and send a invoice in PayPal. All right, so we've been using PayPal for years, like 10 plus years, and it's the main way that we send out invoices to our clients. So we have a PayPal business account. The regular PayPal account and the business account are both free. They're gonna be slightly different in where you find to create an invoice, but they're both gonna end up at the same place and it's gonna look exactly the same. So as you can see here on the PayPal business account, right there in the quick links, it's gonna show invoicing. If you have just like a general personal PayPal account, you might not see it right away. You might have to click a more button with the three dots and it'll say something like invoice, create an invoice, and it will take you to where I'm clicking right now. So I'm gonna click on invoicing right here. So as you can see here, we have our past invoices that are gonna show up here under the invoices tab. And to create a new invoice, you just wanna click on create new invoice. Now you can also click this drop down tab here and it's gonna say create reoccurring series, create estimate, send a batch of invoices. For the most part for us, we just go to create invoice. So I'm gonna click on that. All right, so let's navigate through this. So first thing is you're gonna see the new invoice number. It's gonna generate this number for you. We've never touched this or changed it. We just leave it as is and it generates a new number every time we create a new invoice. And before we get into this stuff, we'll just quickly head over here where you can see our information. So it has our business name. I'm just gonna click on the drop down here to open it. It's got our business name, address, email, telephone number, and website. Oh, and it's got our logo here as well. So you're gonna wanna fill out that information and you can do so by clicking edit business info. All right, so it says here, use template and right now it has quantity. So if you click on that, it's gonna show you quantity, hours or amounts only. And the quantity that they're referring to is this right here. So under items, when you name an item, you put the quantity and then the price. So if you change it to hours, it's just if you're billing by the hours, then it's gonna change the style of the invoice a little bit and it's gonna say out the amount of hours and then your rate per hour. We generally have this set on quantity, so I'm gonna change it back. Next is the currency. So I really like this because you can change it to whatever currency you want. And even though we're here in Canada, for the most part, we are invoicing in US dollars. Most of our clients are in the United States. So you can just click here and just choose the different currency that you want. Like I said, we typically use USD. Next, you wanna put in the email address that you wanna send this invoice to. All right, so let's pretend to fill this out. I'm gonna put in an email address. So the cool thing is, is when you put an email address, it's gonna save it for next time. So I already have this email, so it's already popped up with their name and email address. If you are shipping something out, you can add an address here. We don't typically fill that out because most of our services is online. If you want to add additional recipients and you wanna CC them on the email, like if another person on the team, if you're sending an invoice to a company but then the accountant needs to receive it, you can click on the CC and, and add additional recipients. You can click on customize and actually customize the, the name of things, the order of things, but we typically leave it as is. So let's pretend here that I'm actually doing an invoice. So I'll say something like one on one YouTube coaching and then I'll put the price here and then you can choose if you need to put tax or not. This is optional. You can add a description to your item name. So generally when we're doing something like this for the YouTube coaching, we just put in parentheses for one hour sessions, just to reiterate to the person that they are gonna be getting for one hour sessions. Now when you're automatically filling up the items, another one will pop up 
But if you don't fill it in, that's okay. It's not going to show up on the final invoice. So if you only have one thing, then that's fine. But if you have more, then you can just keep going. And then scroll down here. And then it says message to customer. And we usually thank them. Or if it's going to be multiple payments, we'll state that. I'll say, thank you so much, Jenny. Looking forward to working with you exclamation mark. You can add other things like terms and conditions, references. We don't typically do this. And you see here there's more options. You can upload images, documents, PDFs. Again, we don't typically use this, but we will use the memo to self. So that's a note to yourself. If you need to reference this later on, you can find it really easily. So if I say something like YouTube, coaching Jenny. I know that this invoice was for Jenny and it was for YouTube coaching and I'll be able to find it in the search a lot faster. So we always put the memo to self Then we'll scroll back up and then it still has the invoice number here. Like I said, we typically leave this. If you want to change the invoice date, you can. We usually just leave it on the day that we are creating the invoice. And then this right here, due on receipt, you can change that to no due date, specific date, in 10 days, 15 days. We usually put due on receipt, so like when they receive it. And they can, sometimes they'll pay it right away or they'll take a couple days, they take a week, it's fine. So we just typically leave that. And this is where you can go if you want to add a discount. So let's say you're doing some sort of deal or something you can either do it in dollar amount or percentage. So let's say they get 50% discount. You just enter that there, click on the side, and it will automatically do the discount for you. So I'm just going to X out of that. Again, if there's a shipping cost, you can add the shipping cost and any other amounts. It'll do the total for you. This is a cool thing. You can allow partial payments and or allow a tip. So sometimes some of our clients want to do two payments. They want to do, you know, half up front and then half when the job's complete. Let's say if we're doing graphic design, if it's for our coaching, we typically receive the payment up front. So you can allow partial payment. I'll only check that off if we've already agreed upon that beforehand because ideally you want to get paid the whole amount up front. So that's only when a client asks for that. And then allow tip. This always is checked and we don't say anything about a tip. We don't say like, oh, feel free to give us a tip or it would be great if you gave us a tip. We never do anything like that. We just check it off. They see it on there that they can give a tip if they want. And you'd be surprised with how many people are so nice and generous and happy with our service that they give a tip and we, we never say anything about it. So definitely leave that on. Once you're done filling everything out, before you send it, always, always preview it. You wanna double check your totals. You wanna double check the email that you're sending it to and that it's not another client. So you click on preview and then it's going to say, here's what your customer is going to see. So you can see it's got our business information here. It's got the date, the invoice number, who it's being billed to. And you can see here it's got that tip option, which is really nice. The total, the payment methods. And if we scroll down, it's got the item listed there, the note to the customer, which is important. They're giving you money, so you want to be thankful for it. And you just, you double check everything, make sure it's the right address, the right total. You've clearly listed the item. And then once you're done, you click send. We like using PayPal because you can send it to so many different countries. People can pay with or without a PayPal account. You can easily change the currency to what you'd like. We've sent invoices to the United States, UK, the Netherlands, Australia, here in Canada where we are. So that is how you create and send an invoice on PayPal. 
If I was able to help you out, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. It would be greatly appreciated. Head down to the description below. We've got some cool resources for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.